In an unusual twist, one Democrat running for the General Assembly wants to make something very clear to voters. She will lose next year. Yeah, our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh with more on why she even got into the race at all. Michael, this is very strange. Yeah, this all has to do with the way Republicans just redrew the districts for next year's election. And one candidate who knows she has no chance of winning wants to make that very clear to voters. Senate will come to order. There are a lot of high stakes races that will determine who gets power in Raleigh in 2024. But Kate Compton Barr wants you to know hers is not one of them. I think we're talking a 100 percent chance of loss here. She's a Democrat running for state Senate in Mecklenburg County, but says there's no hope of winning. Her website is even called KateBarrCan'tWin.com. There's a tab where she says, don't donate. She sums it up like this. Get in, losers. We're not going to the Senate. If you're going to lose, you might as well lose with style. She lives in a district that Republicans just redrew to heavily favor the GOP. Current Democratic Senator Natasha Marcus won it easily in 2022, but would almost certainly lose this time, which is one reason she ran for insurance commissioner instead. The district now includes all of Iredell County, favoring current Republican Senator Vicki Sawyer. Kate Compton Barr is running anyway because she wants voters to have a choice, but also to highlight the effects of lawmakers drawing their own districts. It really feels like our politicians are trying to protect their power more than they are trying to represent their areas. There's a lawsuit pending over how Republicans redrew districts in the northeastern part of the state, where Democrats accuse them of illegal racial gerrymandering. We drew those districts consistent with our understanding of what the law is. Knowing the history of her own party gerrymandering as well, Barr says the state needs an independent group to draw districts instead. The reality of the situation is important. If we don't face our truths and if we're not honest with ourselves about what's happening, then we can't fix it. She also said if she does end up raising more money than she needs to cover the basic costs of her campaign, then she's going to give that money to other Democrats who actually have a chance of winning their races. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.